UPI has revolutionized the way India transacts. So much so that fast, simple and cost effective payments have become a way of life for Indian consumers. But what is UPI and how does it work? And what can banks across Europe and North America learn? I am Pratiksha Patak and in this 100 second series, I will be diving deep into the opportunities UPI presents in India and further afield too. So, what is UPI? UPI stands for Unified Payments Interface. It is an instant real-time payment system developed by the National Payment Council of India, which facilitates person-to-person -person and person-to-business transactions. Anyone with a smartphone, an active bank account, and internet access can send money for free in the blink of an eye. In fact, you can transact faster than the time you spend logging into your banking application. UPI launched in October 2016 and clocked 1 million transactions that month. Seven years later, and the scheme has just crossed an eye-watering 11 billion transactions worth 261 billion US dollars. So how does UPI work? UPI is a QR code based payment. It doesn't matter who provides the QR code or UPI services. User can send and receive money using any UPI application. Its ability to function across multiple payment schemes makes this a powerful enabler for a global interoperable payment system. Which brings us to the biggest selling point for UPI internationally. UPI could both accelerate growth and reduce the cost of cross-border transactions to and from India. That's huge. According to the World Bank, India's remittances exceeded 100 billion US dollar in 2022, the most of any nation in the world and significantly ahead of major economies such as China. So, UPI is free. Payment authentication authorization is done by the Unique Identification Authority of India free of charge. Secure tokenization makes the payment data unreadable and removes the need to store and maintain the data by the bank. And lastly, available. As per the data published by NPCI, for the last few quarters, there was zero downtime recorded for the availability of UPI for payment transactions. But why is this of interest to any country other than India? And why is a global technology giant like Apple working to integrate with UPI and create a localized version of Apple Pay? Stay tuned for part two of this 100 second mini series where we will talk about the use cases of UPI around the world. We will also explore what this means for banks across the US and Canada and how they too can benefit from UPI. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to get notified when the next episodes are published. Hey.